Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to switch to enhanced messaging chat version 2. If you are using Salesforce messaging for in app and web, now it is called as enhanced chat. And then if you wanted to switch to version 2 of it, which has a good user experience and chat experience. If you really wanted to do this switch, you can make use of this video as a reference. The first step is we have to go to embedded service deployment in Salesforce setup and then you have to open the messaging for uh, in-app and web uh, embedded service deployment. When you open it, you should see a button called switch to v2. Now if I go to this uh, embedded service deployment, I can see switch to v1 because I have already switched it from version 1 to the newest version v2 that's the reason i can see switch to version 1 which is the previous version of it once you click switch to version 2 button switch to v2 button you have to wait for some time you will receive an email saying that the deployment is published successfully once you receive that email you can refresh your browser screen once you refresh in this page you should see the latest date on the published on message you should see the time and date it should match with your current switch to version 2 button click so once it is done once you verify that it is published then you can test out the new chat experience in order to do that you can make use of test enhanced web chat link in this test enhanced web chat you can click this link it will open the visual force page and then you should be able to test the new chat experience with version 2 the look and feel will be totally different the way it renders the text uh, links and uh, other uh, information on this particular screen will be totally uh, different you can definitely uh, switch to version 2 and uh, see how it uh, works in your sandbox first do all the end-to-end -end testing do not miss out any use cases and then proceed for production deployment Please check the video description. In the video description, I have shared my blog post. From the blog post, you should be able to get all the steps we were referring in this video as a reference. I have also shared the Salesforce article for, for your additional reference. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.